Hey Rings, uh, Hugh here doing a training course on uh, Drupal Gardens. We'll be doing an introduction to uh, Drupal Gardens and I will be uh, showing you how to make a website quick, easy and fun. Drupal Gardens is a website that helps you create a web, web page for your own uh, being. It's uh, free if you choose to be free, but you can also pay for and if you pay you'll get more features with us and you, you can use your own dom domain name. Oh, but if it's free, you can't, there's not as much features, but if it's free, so can't go wrong. So here we're going to go start off our website. So I have one here I have now say in the URL site. The name would be my site now one. So we're going to continue. When you go to continue, it'll come up in the template. The template will be the start of the website. It'll just give you a, a feel to what your website will be like before you actually see it. So here you'll have your templates, you'll have all these features, pages and blocks here. And when you come to here you have this template, you'll have a product template, a blog template and create your own template. We're going to stick with the one we have already. So when you're here you can have all your bits, your comments, your follow us, your mailing list. And you can pick which ones and which ones you want and which ones you don't want. For example, say I don't want a mailing list, so I'll take that out. If I want to rotate a banner, I'll keep that on. But and I want to frequently ask questions. I want that, so we'll keep that there now, right? So we'll go to create a site. So I have one which I uh, made it earlier on. So we'll go to that now. So here it is now. This is the site. So this one was called GMIT site. This is one I made earlier. So here we are. This is the layout site. Every site you will ever make will start off like this. The same color, the same background. The only difference is this bit here. It'll be the name that you choose. If I st stuck with the other one to load up, it would have been called my size. This one's called GMIT size. So here we have it, and you can change this if you want, if you don't like the name, if you have second choice, second ch uh, choices like the name. So you have your rotating and banner, if there's nothing in that. You have your headings up here. You have your gallery at the side. You have your information in the middle, and comments at the side. The comments, blog, post. So it's a basic website, but hasn't been touched yet, so I have to go at it now and make it more friendly and more to my taste. So we'll start off here with the slogan. We'll change this. So we'll go to configure block. So come on to the structure. So here is the slight slogan. I don't want it to be this because clearly it's no, a slogan, it's just telling you that you put a slogan there. So we'll put in GMIT. GMIT, the place to be. So that'll be the slogan. Not much of a slogan, use the slogan I will say, but it'll do for now. So let's go and save that. So now you'll see when it comes back, I'll have here you might need the place to be so that would be it and i've changed this as well configure block because no one wants a site called gmit site we'll call it gmit home page so we'll call it that and you'll see when you go back and change So there, GMIT homepage. So there to start, and there are two simple things. All you have to do is go into that and go to configure block. It'll bring you straight to us. You'll see it when you go in at the top, where your heading will be and where what you want to change. So there it is, and you can change it there. That's simple. It's easy. Anyone can do that. So that's an easy start to what we're going to be doing. Next off, we'll go to the rotating banner. Rotating bar banner is again simple to use Sim it's a nice feature to the website and it makes it look slick it makes it look nice and we're going to have fun with this now so here you come to this part here now so you can come in to the rotating banner and you'll have your image two images because there's nothing here yes there's no image so we'll go to our image and we'll change it we'll go to edit So you'll have, this is a rotating banner, but this is just writing you can have on it. So if you have a picture and you want to 
above the picture to, to explain what it is, this is where you put it. So if you have a picture of a house and it has a name, you can have the picture of the, the picture underneath and the house name here. You can say what you want about the picture. It's just a simple, I don't need it now, so we'll just take it out. Same with the rotating banner. So that's gone. So we'll choose an image. Go from choose file. So here we have different images of different stuff. So we'll put up a picture of GMIT. Let's see which one we'll use. We'll use this one. So we'll upload this. So when the picture saves, it'll come back to this. So that'll be our picture that being overtain banner and we'll go down here and we'll save this now. So that's saved now. So we'll go to this one now, we'll edit this one, put in a different picture, put in a different way this time. Different ways to put in the pictures and I'll show you. Now. Keep a hidden on this time, so I'll show you how to keep the hidden on. So it's a matter of double clicking into it and picking what you want, what you don't want. So we'll put in G M I T. Now we're going to put in a URL image this time. A URL image. So go to choose banner again. But instead of this time going to upload image, we'll go to here. enable your URL URL. So go here, I right, pick up from here. We go to copy image URL, so we just do that. And we come down here then and we paste that in. Now hopefully they'll save in. So here's their picture. The problem is sometimes that the pictures could be too small or too big. So usually you have to find pictures that are the same size or edit them to be the same size to help your website look good. So I'll save that. And if you want to add another um, image to the banner. All you have to do is here go add new slides to this banner, and same thing will come up. Picture will come down. Just go to edit. It's simple as. So now we come back here and we'll see how it looks. So now that's here. We have our GMT size picture, and we have our other picture. So there's our two ones with our GMT banner there. So now this time we'll add a uh, content. So that content. The co content will be added up there so we can add a main to the main heading or we could add it to a, it into about but we'll add it to the main heading this time. So go to a basic page. There's all different ones. You have user eyes and poll, gallery, form topic, blog entry and basic page. But if you want to make a basic uh, heading you go to basic page. We'll call it course. And we'll, you have to change it to full HTML to get all the features of it. I'll just put in this is our course page. And you can put as much writing in as you want. So when you're putting in the menu, it will provide menu link. Make sure you do. And keep the main menu. You can put the way on it if you want. Put publish. Make sure you publish. If you don't want it won't save. So you can see now there courses has come up. So that's our courses page. So that's a new page for us to look at. So now we look at the team. Sometimes with this colour it's a nice team but it's not what I'm looking for if I'm doing a, a website for a college. Could suit other things but not this time. So I'll, when you're looking to change it you go to appearance. When you come to appearance It'll come up here and we say your styles, your brand, your layouts, your advance, and your teams. So we go to our teams first. So we go to choose a new team. There's plenty of different teams for each kind of occasion and for each site. So it's just a matter of looking through them and seeing which one you like. So we'll p I'm going to pick uh, this one here now. So this is the look and feel of it now. It's a nicer look, it's a nicer feel for what I want. So I'm going to keep it as this one. So when I choose this. You have to name it, so I'll just name it new one. So, yeah. 
this is way for us to save it. When it's saved, you have to go to publish. If you don't go to publish, it won't save when you get out of this. So you have to go to publish or else it won't stay as your background. So I go to publish. Next we go to brand. Now let's say if we go to brand. There we go. Brand is just picking the different colors that you, like you like for the site. So we can pick this kind of color. It'll just change some of the colors. It won't change all because you have to do that yourself. But it'll just change some. So we'll go for a nice feel to it. So go for this. Go for this kind of color. So we'll keep it as that. So, and then you can go here. If you want to put in a logo, it's just a matter of browsing and choosing if I can put in your logo. It'll come up here. So next, we'll go to styles. So here now we're in styles. Styles is just to change your font, change your background, change whatever you want. So we're going to change the font of GMIT homepage. So we'll change it to this. So a kind of block version. So I'm going to change this to... Yeah, I can't really see that, so we'll change it to something else. So we'll go for... Thumbs up, no, don't think he likes that one either. There we go. She might need a place to be. Now, there, when you're here as well, you can underline it. You can put it sideways, bold it, and underline it. Your usual things you can do, or you can change the color even. So you can change it to black. Or, but we'll keep it as this, I like the color. The background then is, we can choose an image if we want. That's if we want. Sometimes it doesn't always work. I'll just show you an example of choosing an image. So now that's the background. You can change then the way you want it to be the background. You can change it sideways. But because it's such a big image, it'll only be as one. See, it'll stay like that. But we don't want that because it's a distraction from the website. So we'll, just, we'll publish this now. So that's published now, so we can get out of this. So now that that's done, that's pretty much the basics of making a website for anything like it. It doesn't have to be just a home page for a business. It can be a home page for something, a football team. It can be a home page for a babysitting service, as I said. So that's just the basic layers of how to make a Drupal, play, Drupal Gardens website. And I uh, hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And if you need to answer any questions, just comment under as at my wiki page. So hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope you get some new service. Thanks.